but we expect some fireworks in this one. That referee ought to be loose in limber. <laughs> it could happen right when he enters the cage. Yeah, we're not gonna wait for the introductions. Here's the shark fights tail of the tape. Well, wow, big, huge reach advantage here by Sokuchu. Six inch. That's that's surprising know? to me. Yep, surprising for the rest. The same 12 year age difference. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Sponsored by Hooters, delightfully tacky yet unrefined. And now, three five-minute rounds in the Shark Fight Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, standing to my left, fighting in the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins with six losses. He stands six feet tall and weighted at 204 and one half pound, fighting out of Temecula, California, Ramoa, oh, the you, African bud? assassin, Sokoju! And his opponent across the way, standing in the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 10 wins and six losses. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 202 and one quarter pound. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Houston, the assassin, Alexander. It's gonna be good. Oy. Well, you've got the assassin taking on the African assassin. There's the two nicknames. Ooh. And you take a look at the left knee of Sokaju. That's a Sakuraba leg, yeah, that, not an ear. That could be just a setup, you know? Oh, Gets yeah. you concentrate on that leg, boom, and hit you with hey, that right. You received instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. These guys. They don't like each other. At all times. Touch gloves and good luck. <laughs> So is that something you two would do back in the day? A tape up your knee as a setup? I didn't do it. I never did it. I, I don't like anything around my limbs. I, uh, I, I like the blood circulation to flowing. I didn't even wear wraps in my tie boxing matches. I, we I are set to go for the Shark Fights. Co-main event of the night, light heavyweight action. Ramu Sokaju in the red and Houston Alexander in the black. It's going to be interesting here. You watch. This is going to be an explosion. Yeah. Blop! As soon as one hits, the other one is going to be on. Ooh. Low kick by Sokaju. You heard it. It landed. And another kick by Sokaju to oh, the body. Oh, man. That hurt him. Houston Alexander looks to be in great shape for this fight, the veteran. Look at the thighs on that guy, huh? <laughs> Been training very, very hard. It's the two inch closer to find that range. Wild left hook, misses, but then Sokaju follows with the kick to the leg. You know, they, kick. They, they haven't kicked, they haven't thrown oh. an easy punch yet. Everything's everything's been mean. Yeah, there was no shaking hands though, also. <laughs> no. No, but they they're just not throwing a weak jab, you know. They're just throwing all power. Power kicks, power punches. Oh, oh. And that left drops Houston Alexander hanging on for his life. He could oh. be out. Now he gets back up. Sokaju teeing off. Alexander's surviving. He's, he's hiding his leg behind his thigh. How is he hanging on? He's a fighter, man. He has to be for. Tough. Houston Alexander, are you kidding me? That was sweet. The fans appreciate that. Whoa. Somehow manages to survive the attack. 
looks out on his feet, you know? Yeah, but he's still fighting. He needs the grip now. He can't let go. So good you. If he starts now, if he could get some distance, it's very dangerous. The two exchange knees and then Soku Chu trips him to the ground. Yeah, there's that judo throw. Hit throw, boom. Houston looks like he's out, you know. He ain't yeah, all there. He's, he's hung on, but has he recovered? No. no well, okay, no. guillotine. I thought it was a guillotine guy. He had the shot. Decided against it. Wide open shots to the side of his face. Soku Chu teeing off. And Houston Alexander. What a heart. Sokuchu just misses with the big left. Alexander's not back. You see him when he's still wobbly. That's all he, instinct, though. He's fighting on instinct. Yep. You know, he's a fighter. Fighters fight. Sokuchu now taking his time. Sokuchu has been known for this. That if oh, oh, right hook dropped Alexander. How is he hanging on? Whoa. Sokuchu going in for the kill. As we approach minute 30. In this first round. Right away, he's passing here, going to half guard, and this is a good position for ground and pound. Blood beginning to stream from Houston Alexander's right eye. I believe right next to it or below it. What a huge round for Sokuchi, yeah. but somehow Houston Alexander surviving. And if he survives this, you know. Sokuchu has been known, like when he goes balls out, but he can't finish, then after that, it's a whole lot less. Things change in the later rounds, you're absolutely right. And since he's looking for submissions, did he punch himself out? Is he tired? Beautiful, reversal. reversal. What a timing! Houston Alexander. That was great timing. And Alexander with his shorter reach, he's better now, he's stronger now here. So watch out for submissions, though. Get that thumb out of his mouth, he's gonna lose it. <laughs> Alexander throwing some shots. Yeah, <laughs> it ain't over till it's over. Alexander, the veteran, putting his glove over the nose and mouth of Sokaju. Yeah, there. it's legal. Always working. Ten seconds ago in an exciting first round. Somehow. Oh, headbutt. Now that could have been a headbutt oh, and man. another one. Yeah, that was. The referee warns him, but it doesn't look like he took a point away. Used to walk through the other corner. Whoa, that is instinct here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's fighting yeah. on instinct. Somehow, Houston Alexander is still in this fight as the doctor's going to check him out. Yeah, and if he's, if he's not going to look straight at the doctor, they might stop the fight. He's got to watch out. No, it's okay. He's walking. We have a fight on our hands. We have a fight. Well, let's take a look at the action in that first round with our course light reef. The huge right hook right to the temple of Houston Alexander. That will shake up your equilibrium. You, you know, that's unusual because you usually throw that looping overhand right on a taller fighter. Yeah. You know? And he's throwing it at somebody who's the same size. And you know, it's right there, a little high on the head, so the head makes a lot of movement. Houston Alexander was checked out by the doctor in between rounds. They said he's ready to go. Little cut next to the right eye, and we are set to go. He's still a little wobbly on his feet, I think, you know? Yeah, yeah. he's got good rhythm. But Thierry also, Sokuchi was also, look how he steps. Second round action here in the light heavyweight division. Shark Fights 13, Don Fry, Boss Rutten, Run Cruck, here from Amarillo, Texas. And what a night of fights we have seen. Oh, a oh strong right beautiful. straight by Houston Alexander. That was beautiful. Step in, pushed off on the back leg. Yes. You see, Sokuchi looks like he's also, right? You called it, boss. We've seen it before. He goes for, for the kill. If he doesn't finish the fight, things change. He gasses out, maybe loses a little confidence. Whoa. Well, the fans here in Texas have just become Houston Alexander fans. 
after yeah, surviving yeah. that. What is not round. like? I, I think that is the coolest ever, stuff like that. <laughs> you know, get beat up and then come back. And like you said, all instinct, just grabbing onto Sokic's oh, leg. Beautiful. Oh, hey. oh, oh, Houston hey. Alexander now. Hey. He's going to work. He's dropping. Sokic, Houston Alexander oh. right after right. Oh, man. He's peppering. It's Sokic payback. is not fighting back. It's it's this over. is close. It's over. Houston Alexander pounding away. How is this fight not being stopped? <laughs> Sokic is not even defending himself. Ray, what Houston is Alexander. Fight. And Come that on. is oh. oh! Are you kidding me? Houston Alexander, what a <laughs> This place is going crazy! Unbelievable heart! Houston Alexander! Whoa. I think this stoppage was a little late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hope that Sokaju is okay because <laughs> Houston Alexander went to work and teed off. And I don't know if Sokaju was even defending himself. Hey, Houston Alexander can run for mayor tomorrow, Amarillo. And he'd have it, man. Probably in Omaha, to, too. They'd love him. They'd love him. They'd love him. Oh, that was awesome. This place went nuts. What a heart by Houston Alexander as the <laughs> doctors check out Terry Ramu Sokaju. Hope that he's okay. Oh man, this I tell is. You, he, he deserves every round of applause he gets in this tonight. Oh. You know? I love this stuff. He had to get a bonus. If he don't get a bonus, he's getting robbed. A very emotional Houston Alexander, the father of seven. Single you know. parent, man. You know, you got to feed the kids. Does incredible charity work for the YMCA. He's, a, he's like Mr. Community over there. He yeah, does you're right. everything for that community. He could probably, like you said, Don, he could probably run for mayor in Omaha, too. So much action in this fight. Let's check it out here at the Chorus Light Replay. The uppercut hurt him, the knee hurt him, and then he just started teeing off. And you wonder if he might punch himself out here, but he but smelled he the just blood kept going. and kept going. That was like a 30 second, 40 second <laughs> full And yeah. look at the emotion come from the single father of seven. What a great story. Yeah. And that's a man right there. That's a man. Good news, Ramu Sokaju is up. Houston Alexander needed a win. There's no doubt about it. Might remember he lost to Kimbo Slice last year. Felt he won that fight, but he's lost to some top fighters in in many different organizations. I just don't know how he survived that first round. It was crazy.